In order to modernize the mechanized infantry force, the U.S. military spent $432.5 million to purchase an unspecified number of Armored Multipurpose Vehicle, or AMPV. U.S.-based BAE Systems Land and Armaments was awarded this contract and another contract to upgrade the M2A for a Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. It is expected that these armor vehicles will be completed and delivered in February 2027. In October last year, the U.S. military was approved to increase purchases of AMPV multi-purpose armor vehicles. This move came after the U.S provided about 200 active M113 armor personnel carriers to Ukraine. BAE Systems successfully developed the AMPV multipurpose armor vehicle version to replace the role of the outdated M113 armor vehicle that cannot meet the task in modern warfare. AMPV began mass production in 2019 to begin staffing various units of the U.S. military. The U.S. Army initially planned to procure a total of about 3,000 AMPV armor vehicles, with the first major deliveries in 2020. According to Brigadier General Geoffrey Norman, Director of the U.S. Army's Next Generation Combat Vehicles Development Group, the AMPV is a sturdy, reliable platform and can well replace the role of the M113. The AMPV armor brings more capabilities to the U.S. Army's brigade level units and allows for a rapid transformation of combat squads. AMPV armor vehicles are intended to replace the role of the M113 in troop transport missions, ambulances, command vehicles, multi-purpose vehicles, and even light infantry fighting vehicles. In the role of ambulances, the AMPVs prove superior to the previous M113 armor vehicles. It has a more spacious cabin, better armor, and more respectable maneuverability. As a light infantry fighting vehicle, the AMPV will be fitted with different types of automatic tourists depending on the requirements. AMPV is expected to replace the role in countries that are using M113 ammo vehicles. About 80,000 M113s of own variants were built to serve over 50 countries. AMPV is expected to be a golden egg for the manufacturer. First presented in 2016, the AMPV combines mobility features with state-of-the-art technologies for improved survivability on the battlefield. Its design is derived from the hull of the Bradley Fighting Vehicle with several modifications to improve its resistance to explosive. The new armor vehicle is better protected than the previous M113 APCs. It is believed that protection of AMPV is similar to that of the Bradley M2A3 IFV. Vehicle has a welded aluminum armor hull. Front arc has a space laminated aluminum and steel armor. Most likely, that front arc provides protection against 30mm armor piercing rounds, and on wrap protection is against 14.5mm armor piercing rounds. Interior is light with Kevlar anti spore liner. Explosive reactive armor blocks and cache armor are fitted for increased protection against shoulder lodge rockets and anti tank missiles. The base light version is fitted with a shielded 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The AMPV uses the same chassis as the Bradley M2A3 IFV 
an M109A7 howitzer. There is a high degree of commonality among these vehicles. It seems that older M2 IFVs and M3 armor reconnaissance vehicles could be converted to the new AMPVs. The AMPV is powered by Cummins VTA 903T 600 diesel engine, developing 600 horsepower. Vehicle has good cross-country mobility and can keep up with main battery tanks. In terms of mobility, it is superior to modern track armor personnel carriers. Though track vehicles are typically more expensive to produce, to maintain, and to operate.